First we take off the mudguard. There are two screws on each side. Step two, remove the, the brake cable knob. Making sure to keep the motor spring, the spring cable in place. Step three, uh, take an 18 millimeter spanner and take off the right nut. And then with an M4 Allen key, take out the drum brake securing screw. Take off the other 18 millimeter nut on the left side. Use a flat screwdriver to remove the washers, the tab washers. Then carefully hold the wheel while taking it off and place it on a, on a rubber surface on, on top of the deck of the scooter. Make sure to heat up the screws at least 10 seconds with a heat gun before attempting to remove them uh, to prevent any breakage of the screw. Shake out all the screws and put them in a cleaning solution uh, so they can be reused and have Loctite reapplied at the end. Take the screws out, hold it. WD-40 or a cleaning agent like isopropyl alcohol that can dissolve some of the glue that's in there. Pry off the rim carefully. Deflated. Make sure your tube is not inflated. It's it's completely deflated. Okay, so we're gonna imitate uh, a tube that's just uh, atmospheric pressure can pressure. equalize inside the tube. Do some light cleaning and and feel for any any kind of irregularities in the rim. Inflate the tube to about 10 psi and carefully apply the half rim with the hole over the valve and, and you don't have tuck it behind, the tuck the tube behind the rim. Apply some Loctite. Okay. This one here. Yeah. Just putting the holes on top. And I'm holding this like that. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, starting putting in the screws. It's preferable to put them symmetrically. Tighten it in a circle uh, once or twice or even three times uh, until all are tight. We normally inflate to 30 to 40 psi. Make sure you align the tab washers on both sides and hold the wheel carefully so it's it's not hanging by the by the motor line. Route the brake cable and attach reattach the end clip.
carefully place the um, drum brake in the right orientation and put the nuts in temporarily so that the, the wheel is holding by itself. Meanwhile, uh, put the three washers on the screw. One washer on the outside and two washers on the inside. This drum brake uh, securing screw is a delicate operation. Take your time. You can even use some uh, tape to hold down the washers while you're screwing the, the screw in. It can prove to take some time um, and take some skill or getting used to, to do it uh, quickly. After everything's done, while making sure you're, you're not pulling on the spring, make sure you keep the spring in place and secure the nut cap and, and the wires and the motor wire and the brake cable. Reattach the mud guard and you're done. Test and release or tighten the brake knob until there's no more uh, rubbing sound.